Today, we're going to talk about the founder of experimental psychology of memory, Hermann Ebbinghaus. Hermann Ebbinghaus was a German psychologist born on January 24, 1850 in Barmen, Germany, which is now known as the city of Wuppertal. He was born into a wealthy family of merchants and studied philology, psychology, and history at the University of Bonn. During this time, he developed an interest for philosophy. His university education was temporarily disrupted by the Franco-Prussian War in which he served for some time. Following the war, he completed his degree and went on to get his doctoral degree in philosophy from the University of Bonn in 1873. Ebbinghaus then decided to travel and study across Berlin, France and England, and in 1878 he began conducting his very first memory experiments. In 1883, Ebbinghaus became a professor at the University of Berlin and conducted further memory experiments. Ebbinghaus was known for his great sense of humor and was very popular among his students and other professors. Some years later, Ebbinghaus founded the Laboratory for Experimental Psychology and co-founded the Journal of Psychology and Physiology of the Sense Organs, which helped a lot in the international progression of psychological study. Hermann Ebbinghaus came to be known as the founder of experimental psychology and memory through these contributions, of which we will talk about three. In 1879 to 1880, Ebbinghaus conducted a self-experiment where he created 2,300 nonsense syllable words containing three syllables such as SEF and DUP. He attempted to learn these words until he achieved perfect recall, then recorded how many he was able to retain after specific time intervals. He also noted the number of trials needed to relearn the syllables upon forgetting them. Results showed that relearning is easier than initial learning and that it takes longer to forget material after each subsequent relearning phase. Three years later, he repeated this experiment and published the results in Memory, a contribution to experimental psychology. Hermann Ebbinghaus is most famous for the forgetting curve, which shows that memory retention is 100% at the beginning with forgetting happening quickly right after learning and slowing down over time. The forgetting curve led to the idea of savings and spacing effect. The savings effect suggests learning is more effective when it's spaced out over time rather than crammed into a single marathon study session, while the spacing effect suggests if you want to store information in your long-term memory, you must repeat this information after set time intervals. The spacing effect describes how long the intervals should be to make learning as effective as possible. His experiments empirically demonstrated that it's harder to memorize material that does not have significance or relevance to the learner, as well as that increasing the amount of material to be learned usually dramatically increases the amount of time it takes to learn it, which came to be known as the learning curve. Ebbinghaus's contributions ultimately gave insight into effective learning strategies and gave way to studying the differences in human intelligence. Contrary to the prevailing beliefs at the time, which relied on pure introspection to study the conscious experience, Ebbinghaus brought the study of memory out of philosophy and into the realm of empirical science. His work in memory, a contribution to experimental psychology, used a systematic approach to the study of memory and demonstrated that higher cognitive processes could also be studied scientifically. This greatly influenced the field of psychological research, and even his work on nonsense syllables are still being used in modern day research on learning and memory. Another one of his major contributions that we still see today is the serial position effect. The serial position effect is the tendency for an individual when asked to freely recall the items in a list in any order to recall the first and last items in a series better than those in the middle. This is also known as the primacy effect and the recency effect. A prominent feature of human experience is that it unfolds serially, at least our minds, and studies on preferences have shown that during election races, the first candidate received more votes than those who followed after, an example of the primacy effect and contestants in singing competitions and figure skating competitions received higher ratings the later they appeared in the sequence, which is an example of the recency effect. The two most vivid images from this sequence is a man in a bathroom and the same man riding a white horse. The images in the middle are less salient. Advertisement companies even compete to have their commercials aired either in the beginning or at the end of a commercial break. Ebbinghaus and his contributions not only revolutionized how we measure higher cognitive processes, but also made a great impact on studies in learning, memory, human decision-making, preferences, and in marketing and advertisement. 